Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Dan, aka A Drive, and I've been playing competitive Pokemon for about 10 years now. Actually, probably closer to 12, but VGC is pretty new. I've been playing uh, more or less just about two months so far for VGC. My favorite thing about VGC is kind of the uh, dynamic format. It feels like you can really utilize a lot of different Pokemon, a lot of different combinations, and as someone who is a singles player, I really like the fact that there's so many different things you can do together. Like today, for example, I ran a Surf Raichu next to a Steam Engine Weakness Policy Colossal, and those kind of interactions you just don't get in single battles. So to me, the challenge is definitely a lot higher in VGC, and uh, kind of the unique combinations that you can come up with that can actually be viable is something that I just really think is valuable about uh, you know VGC. So far, my experience with Liberty Garden has been amazing. I mean, the people running this event, Jen and Mr. O, are phenomenal, and there's just a great staff here that's running the stream, and just so many great things going on. And honestly, uh, the, one of the things that I kind of heard when I first got here was these New Jersey Liberty Garden events are like family, and I really feel that when I'm here. I feel like a lot of the community like kind of grows together, and, and everyone seems to know each other, and it's really cool for me to be kind of introduced into the scene because I'm pretty new here. Like, I've been doing Pokemon for so long, but uh, there's something really special about going to kind of a homegrown event like this, and and just seeing the excitement and, and really seeing the camaraderie between all the different players, win, lose, whatever it may be. It seems like people are really rooting for each other and, and just excited to play Pokemon. I'm actually a big fan of the Dynamax mechanic. I know some people are a little iffy about it, but I think in VGC it actually really shines. The fact that there's, uh, you know, so offensive, it's such an offensive metagame, which makes viewing so much better. I think the viewer experience is really good. And I think, again, it really opens up the possibilities for different uh, combinations and different strategies, like we mentioned with the weakness policy. Uh, being able to boost your own Pokemon and allow it to take more hits and stuff like that, and having it in a 2v2 kind of setting allows it to be a little bit more balanced than it is in single battles. Now that I'm a VGC player, I think back to the Onog Invitational, which took place in 2017, where I battled uh, both Wolf and Aaron, uh, Wolf Glick and Aaron Cybertron, and, and I was able to beat them both, and I think I really sent kind of a message to just the bigger community who really uh, didn't want to take me in as, as, as one of their own. Uh, I kind of proved that I wasn't just a shoddy hunter, but that I could actually battle with some of the best players in the world, and I'm still learning. I still have so much to learn and so much to grow, but I think that's what keeps me going. Going. like the fact that this is something new for me I, I don't expect myself to win every tournament I'm not gonna just beat everybody but uh, there's so much room to grow and, and I see that improvement every time I go and play a match so uh, it's really about that improvement so uh, both those instances are definitely some of my favorites one thing I love about Pokemon content creation is just the community involved uh, I found that Pokemon fans are some of the most dedicated fans in the world which in some ways is an amazing thing because it's a pretty much only Pokemon exclusive creator people generally are still interested in what I do but uh, sometimes when I do anything but Pokemon people are way less interested but I think that that community kind of feel is just so great there's so many different uh, people in the community and, and such like great diversity within the community uh, and I think that that's just such a great thing in my opinion um, so I, I really enjoy being able to entertain and, and really engage with so many different types of people I guess you could say and and in terms of my normal day you know I wake up I, uh, I play with my daughter for a little bit feed her breakfast and then I get to the YouTube grind and then uh, do that for a couple hours have lunch and play with my daughter a little bit more and then I jump to the uh, the twitch grind stream for a couple hours and then spend some time with my wife and my family and call it a day there so overall it's honestly a dream job and I'm so thankful every day to be do doing what I do and uh, it's one of the things that keeps me motivated is just the excitement and uh, just the appreciation for being able to create content every day for everybody so I think when it comes to competing first of all I think it's important to learn from your losses and I know that might be said a lot but I think like for me if I lose a game the first thing I want to do is I actually want to get into a quiet space so I can really evaluate that game and really figure out what well, can I have done to one to win that game like how did I misplay this maybe it was one turn or maybe I just didn't approach the game in the right way and I think learning from those experiences is super duper valuable and that's really how you're gonna improve but in terms of content creation I think it's important to find your niche in the community figure out what you do better than anyone else or figure out something you can do that that is a little bit different than maybe someone else isn't offering because there's so many people on the internet trying to create content now this is like the big gold rush of, of kind of the, the 2020s here everyone wants to be a content creator everyone's growing up trying to film themselves on YouTube or on Twitch and at the end of the day, like authenticity, I think shines through the most. And again, just trying to be original and do something a little bit different or, or find that niche for yourself is where you're going to really be able to stand out. So my favorite Pokemon is actually Vikavolt. Uh, I really think that Pokemon is just insane. Like its special attack stat is just through the roof. And uh, going back to kind of some of those draft league memories, I actually won a championship in the NPA with uh, with a shiny Vikavolt, uh, with the Minnesota Vikavolt as my team. So uh, it's just a really cool Pokemon that's got such a unique design. And I think, like for me, I've never been a fan of like the OP, like super powerful Pokemon that everyone seems to like for the most part uh, and Vikable kind of fits in that nice little like kind of middle spot where it's like 
you know, uh, you don't really expect it to do much, but in, in the right situation, it can absolutely devastate an opponent. So, a uh, big fan of Vikeable, and I hope to be able to bring it to an event uh, soon. So, I stream pretty much every single day on twitch.tv slash adrive, and you can find my YouTube content on youtube.com slash adrive. I do a lot of competitive Pokemon, including VGC, as well as shiny hunting, which is something I, I actually quite like. I like to bring my shinies to events, and all my Pokemon are always legitimately bred and trained up, and I take all that stuff really seriously. I, I made kind of a commitment in Sword and Shield to play the game 100% legit, and uh, I've been sticking to that, and I, I really find it super fun. I, I, I honestly feel like a, a true Pokemon master, as cheesy as that sounds, and being able to come to these events with these Pokemon that I spent so long trying to find, or shiny hunt, or whatever it may be, uh, it's really rewarding, especially when you do well with them. Nice. Uh, congrats on your uh, Rhyhorn community. Yes! 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 <laughs> the walk is done! It's sword and shield! It's done, dude! We're done! We're actually done! Let's go, man! Let's go! 2,085 eggs, man! My first ever shiny was Shiny Durant. And that was a square? Was it a square? Once we're done EV training, we're gonna jump into ranks and we're gonna have fun. So. Oh! No way! Oh my god! You called it! You guys called it! I'm not even shiny on a thing of EV training! What is going on? What is actually happening? Yo! Bro, what is that? It's like, hey, drive, you have to refund me every dollar. Because I stole my mom's credit card. Oh! Yes! Shiny coughing! Don't steal mom's credit card!